You don't have to put the cameras away. I'm totally ready, 100% committed, practicing and playing on, on a real team. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So in three days from right now, I'm leaving from Winnipeg, heading to Jasper, gonna go skate in the mountains, doing a week-long trip. Jasper, Banff, Calgary, Edmonton, back home on the VRL, Edmonton back to Winnipeg, gonna be doing a huge trip there. Derek Bujan in Hamilton, gonna skate with him for a week just outside of Toronto in the Hammer. What a place. What the hell am I doing after that? Might be heading to Vancouver. It's another VRL trip, train trip, Winnipeg to Vancouver. I don't know how I can say this without getting myself in hot water, but so there's a Canadian college who all of a sudden in the past couple weeks has shown a lot of interest to have me for next season. I had a call with the coach the other day, really big call talking about what we can do moving forward as far as meetings go, recruiting trips and skates. I'm fully prepared right now. You go down the line, you know, in the next couple months and say, hey, listen, I'd like to bring you in for next year. Priorities hockey, you're gonna have to put the cameras away. I'm totally ready and 100% committed to practicing and playing on, on a real team. Looking forward to meeting and make something happen hopefully soon. Things change by the day, it seems like here, so I don't know exactly what we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be a real last minute thing. What's the outdoor rink this morning? I'm still currently looking for my jock strap. If anybody in the Winnipeg area has seen it, please give me a call. Let me know if you find it. You'll understand that in a second. Closest in the game action you're going to get anytime soon here in Canada. A little shinny on the outdoor rink. Anyway. Week, there was like 5,000 snitch line calls. Really? The call, yeah, in the province. Four or five, so. Costco a couple months ago. Like two guys like in the dairy cooler or whatever. And one guy's pissed off, and the other guy's like within six feet of him. So he like freaks out on him. He ends up just whacking him over the head with a four liter of skim. <laughs> it just goes him right in the dairy cooler. It's like you're pissed off, he's within six feet of you. Let's get a little closer. Can't wait for normal life to come back. Hey, Trav's doing some monster walks right now. These are the backwards version. For paying attention, toe as he takes a step back, it lines up with the opposite heel. They're always in sync, making the same size of a step. This is a nice burn on the outer glute, isn't it? Yes. Burns more than last Saturday night. Look at all that Trav what he was doing. <laughs> it wasn't a candle, I'll give you a hint. What was Trav doing? A, lighting a candle. <laughs> B, burning a fire. Or was he C? Swiping right. Stay tuned next week to find out. Lord Farquaad, you've chosen. Lord Farquaad, you've chosen. Princess Fiona. If you like me, why does it look more like a piece of cauliflower than an actual? There's a reason why we train glutes so hard all the time. Do you feel like your sexual prowess has improved since you've been training? It's still five seconds. <laughs> Some things you can't fix. I'm gonna tell you and you at home something that I probably shouldn't. Five seconds of pleasure followed by five years of therapy. Second set coming up. <laughs> Good workout. 
making do with what we got out here. Frozen tundra. It's January in Winnipeg. Trav and I were just talking about off-season plans. Goal for this year is going to be making Trav fast. We're going to do that through weighted sprints. Banded sprints, sprinting in general, moving laterally, weighted jumps. Goals to get fast. Feeling pretty good after that workout and after playing some shinny this morning, it's got me feeling a little inspired. I'm going to go to my dad's, get the outdoor rink ready, work on some edges. What's up, Frank? What's up? What's your name? My name's RJ, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Tell me yeah. something funny. Oh, I don't know any funny jokes, buddy. Sorry. What's up, buddy? I'm Cody. No jokes for me, maybe <laughs> Levi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Yeah, you too, buddy. What a bunch of nice people. All right. I do have an exciting package waiting for me when I get in. So it says 2S Pro Lite Vapor 2X Pro. So it's probably 2S construction, but to the graphic of a 2X Pro. The toe is gonna to be rounded, which is not an option on any customizer for a full right power stick. So it just basically means the toe is nice and nice and round. I might be crazy, but it looks like this paddle is a little bit indented. I don't believe the stock 2X Vapor has an indented paddle. And then obviously the big cutout, this is the big thing that attracted me to buy a stick was the cutout. You're gonna need a little bit better grip. I like the fact that there's less materials in the way and you just, just grip the stick. Although I wouldn't consider myself somebody who has a problem or an addiction spending too much money on gear. I will say I've been spending a little, need a little bit too much money on sticks the last little bit. So this is probably gonna be the last stick I buy for a while, at least until the 2021 sticks start coming out. Another sign you have a really great stick is that the harder the block is to get on, the better the grip, the better the stick. Fresh butt ends. World's best TJ income. Use the promo code TRAVSUCKS for 10% off your butt ends grip. Your block knuckle guard would stop your finger from getting busted when the puck arrives at the paddle of the stick. Holly's hockey tape if you need some tape for your twigs online. Everything's closed these days. Order online. Check these bad boys out. Protein pancakes. Awesome blueberry reduction. I'm gonna do a video, a Sunday special upload for how I make my protein pancakes, protein french toast, all that good stuff. It's gonna be a dedicated Sunday video coming up very soon, by the way. I'll try to make this quick because I'm running a little bit late to my dad. There's a lot of reasons why I'm doing the trip. Something new and something different is to kind of get away from a little bit of the craziness and, and do something exciting. Go skate in the mountains, to go to a place that I've never been in. You know, I, I love to travel internationally, but with having to quarantine and, and waste 14 days of my life doing nothing, plus on top of that, the, I'm having to go get a COVID test, which if I'm in Canada, yeah, it's free, but if I'm in the States, it's gonna cost me a pretty penny to go and get that test done. We really don't have any interest in traveling to the States right now until that changes. A huge reason I'm doing this trip is there's a school, I'm not gonna jinx it because I've jinxed it too many times in the past, but they seem really interested in meeting up, talking about next season, and potentially doing a recruit trip. Now, stop me if this is the most 2020, now 2021 thing you've ever heard. We've talked about doing an outdoor recruiting trip. I actually can't really book outdoor ice, but going to an outdoor rink, coach, goalie coach myself, maybe two or three shooters, running a couple of drills, running a, I guess a, mini recruit trip, shall we say. That's gonna be my showcase, shall we say, my opportunity to showcase what I can do to get signed for next season. And yes, the clickbait does read itself of, I got signed to play college hockey in an outdoor rink. It doesn't get any better than that. It's the best that's gonna be done. The question is, will the laws allow us to? Are we allowed to meet up? Are we allowed to do this skate, to do this recruiting trip? Because as much as I'm willing to break the rules to go and do this, because I'll do anything to go play hockey. The school and the coaching staff, a little bit different. They can't be breaking the laws. Basically in a nutshell, I got a new stick, I'm going to Jasper in two days, and hopefully it's gonna result in a recruiting trip. To my dad's. Hello. I gotta turn around and go home, Dad. I can't even see like five feet in front of me. Maybe I'll come out on Sunday instead. Okay, man. I love you, Dad. Like, look at this, this is brutal. Holy sh I can't even see like anything in front of me. I think the camera does an even better job of showing you what you can see. Like, I can see way less what the camera can right now. Well, that skate was a bust. One last thing, just wanna let you know, people have been a little bit upset the last little bit, especially in Sweden when the vlogs are two, three, four weeks, sometimes even like four and a half weeks behind from when they're actually filmed. I'm running about a seven to 10 day window right now where today's video is being filmed today and then about seven days from now it's being uploaded. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit more real time with the vlog, a little bit easier when I don't have a team that I have to report to and there's things that could happen that are unexpected and, and all these other different responsibilities where I just focus on filming videos and posting videos. No video going up on Wednesday. There will not be a video Wednesday. If you show up for the Wednesday morning premiere, you'll be here by yourself with no video to watch. Friday though, so that Jasper trip and talking about is gonna be that video. I'm putting a lot of work into this video. Probably one of the most exciting videos that I'm gonna be making. I can't wait to share it with you. Friday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern. And that's about all the news. Thanks for watching. See you on Friday. Check, check, check. So, 
New dad joke, a guy walks through a bar. Second guy walks through a bar. Third guy, ducks. <laughs> and cut print kill a pig. Wait, 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 wait.